Though we didn't come across any of the species during filming, images of the spotted lanternfish washed up on the shores of Eastern Beach have surfaced on social media. The fish is found in depths down to 1,000 meters and grows up to 11 centimeters. There have also been reports that it is washed up on the shores of the same coastline in Spain. The daytime fish tends to feed on zooplankton and is preyed on by whales. The Nautilus project have considered these predators could be chasing them to the surface, but is dubious as there have been no recorded sightings of whales. These species are also an indicator species for microplastic in the water. There could be a relationship with uh, um, reduced rainfall during the summer um, and uh, when the rains come it washes it all out to sea. Um, so a lot of microplastics from car tyres and, and, uh, and other uh, substances all get washed out to sea where eventually they sink and these species are uh, prone to eating them. Um, and they've been linked in scientific papers to that ingestion of microplastic. Uh, if this is the case, then this is a potentially worrying uh, uh, find, although you know, it, it is very, uh, um, I, I'm hypothesizing here, you know, there's, there's no firm data for this. Now you say it could be microplastics, but is there anything that measures microplastics in our waters? So at the moment we have no measure of microplastics in uh, Gibraltar waters. Mm -hmm. What we have done, so the Nautilus project has done a couple of spot checks of sand samples, mm -hmm. and we checked that under a microscope and found microfibers in sand from beaches. And that's to be expected because that is pretty much ubiquitous wherever you go. Um, but more work needs to be done in understanding the levels of microplastic in the water column around Gibraltar uh, throughout the year and we're looking at, at, at doing more work in this area. Of course this isn't the first time this strange occurrence has happened um, so tell us a bit about the history of that. So this species has been seen over the last three four years washing up at about this time of year. Uh, this is data from the Department of the Environment. So now that this has been discovered, are you going to be doing any further research, perhaps even a dissection, to recognise whether your hypothesis is correct, find out if this is microplastics? we got volunteers looking along the coastline uh, trying to find the, these fish. Um, the problem is they're really small. Uh, they're about you know five centimetres, a lot of the ones washing up. And as you can appreciate, dissecting a five uh, uh, centimetre fish is, is not exactly easy. Um, from what we've done so far, there's been no evidence of any microplastic or fibres that we've been able to find, which is a good thing, really. But we will continue monitoring the situation, see if, if anything turns up. A large sample of the fish would help the Nautilus project conclude whether there are microplastics in them. So reporting any sightings is the best way to help. You can use the NGO's app, Nemo, to do this.